Today, I want to share a bird that has a close relationship with San Francisco. I found this a very hard thing to do, especially because the entire county is a city. Or is it? This is something a lot of people don't know about San Francisco. We actually own a set of islands 28 miles away. Those islands are called the Farallons, and on a clear day, you can see them from Ocean Beach. Now, these rocks may look useless, and let me tell you, they are useless to everyone except for the birders and the prospectors. You see, the Farallons are one, if not the most important bird area in California. They're only about 0.3 square miles, but exactly 429 species of birds have been recorded there. Everything from a red flank blue tail to Tristram storm petrel. Not only that, the islands contain the largest colony of murres on the continent. So that is today's bird. The name is spelled C-O-M-M-O-N-M-U-R-R-E, common murre. Now, I know what some of you are wondering why I mentioned the prospectors. Well, in 1850, as you know, there was a gold rush. This not only helped establish San Francisco, but it also brought a mighty appetite to the newly born city. Now, I don't know why, but these miners must have forgotten to pack some spare chickens in their suitcases because there were none in San Francisco at the time. You see, chickens lay eggs. Eggs have protein. Protein gives you strength. Strengths give you the opportunity to dig, and the more you dig, the more gold you get. So it's critical to find some eggs. But the only abundant source of eggs in the area was the Farallons. So people set out on an expedition to collect these eggs. And I kid you not, they were called Eggers. Eggers were people that climbed cliffs, carried baskets, and wore super weird shirts that had extra big pockets for any extra eggs. This was the start of the egg rush. Now, I have to put it out there, mer eggs are not your local Sonoma, free-range, cage-free, GMO-free, gluten-free, or nut-free cooking ingredient you know today. Mer eggs have a red yolk, and when you cook them, the clear part stays clear. Mer eggs come from a real wild animal that needs protection if it wants to live. But luckily, the mers have a couple of tricks up their sleeves. First of all, mer eggs are pointed, so if you move them with your finger, they just spin in circles. Scientists are pretty sure that they have this so that the eggs won't fall off cliffs where they nest. Obviously, the Eggers had no trouble defeating this obstacle. Actually, I lied. That was the only Murs trick, and it failed against the Eggers, and so did their population. The Murs population reduced from about a half a million to just over 6,000. Actually, baked goods in San Francisco for about a century were made of mer eggs. Finally, after a long time, the government dug their heads out of the sand and established chickens. And with that, the egging industry fell. After that, the MERS got busy, and now there's over 350,000 nesting MERS, a number updated just as of yesterday. The moral of the story is don't risk your life climbing sheer cliffs. Just establish chickens and you'll be perfectly fine.